I am a member of the Uhuru Solidarity Movement, an organization which was founded by the African People's Socialist Party as a way to interject uh, white people into, or rather the African Revolution into the white community, as a way uh, to raise the question of reparations from inside the heart of the oppressor community, of the white parasitic population of this country and of this world, and to unite with African liberation self-determination and reparations to African people. This is our mission, and we would not exist were it not for the leadership of the African People's Socialist Party, its co-founder and chairman, Omali Eshetela, who, who we want to salute mightily. <laughs> chairman. So this show tonight is entitled uh, Reparations and the Road to Socialism. And I'm very honored to have uh, some really special guests tonight, and we have an exciting announcement for you. Uh, but before, let's get this some context. So there's been a lot of discussion in the mainstream media about, and, and in the independent media, about democratic socialism, quote unquote. Mm -hmm. So what is this term? It's a mm -hmm. term often used, frequently used by celebrity politicians, people right. like uh, Bernie Sanders yep. and Alexandria um, Ocasio-Cortez, politicians who want to have, uh, who, who want votes and who have to respond uh, to a situation where the masses are in motion and where there is a recent poll showing that over 49.6% of millennials would prefer to live in a socialist country. Wow. So this is a central question for this generation and these times. A new generation is embracing socialism because it is so very clear that capitalism is the most vicious, violent, and unsustainable system in the history yes. of humanity. Yes, it is. And uh, this organization, the African People's Socialist Party and the African People's Solidarity Committee have gone a long way in exposing that uh, for this generation. And while many of you know that capitalism must go and that the alternative is socialism, a lot of people still wonder, uh, what does socialism actually look like? Right? Because we talk about all the opposition to it, all the scandals, the red baiting, but nobody really describes what it is. Does it look like Bernie Sanders promise of $15 an hour, for, uh, for example? Well, the short answer is no, it does not. It means a lot more than that. And we're excited for this exclusive interview with two uh, St. Pete City Council candidates who are unabashed socialists, who are yeah. running on a platform of reparations to the black community. And their stance is clear. The path to true socialism and the path to liberation must address the root of capitalism in the enslavement of African people and the historic theft of black labor and land and resources. In short, the path to socialism is through reparations. Oh, for real. So we are very excited to introduce our two guests Give it up, everyone. A big hand for Aretha Akile Canyon. Woo! 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 City Council. Wow. Woo! Woo! Akile is also the director of Agit Prop or Agitation Propaganda for the African People's Socialist Party and the editor of the oldest black power newspaper in print in the world, mm. The Burning Spear. So Uhuru, Uhuru. Comrade Director Uhuru. Achille, Uhuru. it is absolutely a true honor to have you here. And let's also give a warm welcome to Comrade Ann Hirsch. Uhuru. Uhuru. Woo. Right. Ann Hirsch is running for District 5 St. Petersburg. Welcome, Ann. Thank you. Yes. Ann is a member of the Uhuru Solidarity Movement and the African People's Solidarity Committee, which is the cadre level organization that works directly under the leadership of the African People's Socialist Party and leads the Uhuru Solidarity Movement. So Uhuru and welcome, Director Akile and Ann Hirsch. Uhuru. Uhuru. And now I want to turn it over to my esteemed co-host, Jesse Neville. Uhuru. 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 Uhuru Jamie. Let's give it up for Jamie Simpson, our Jamie. magnificent host. Uhuru. Uhuru. He, you've seen Jamie on these web shows. You've also heard his voice on Reparations in Action, and you are just a great spokesperson for this movement. So great to be here with you, Jamie. And I want to salute Director Akile and uh, Comrade Ann, our candidates. Very, very excited to be joined by these amazing candidates and very honored to be working on these campaigns, you know, to be uh, pushing forward this amazing platform of reparations and justice for the black community. So we are 
a front of the African revolution inside of white society. And we are the African revolution reaching into white society to win other white people like ourselves to come onto the right side of history. So that you can't solve any other problem when the black community is oppressed. And so reparations was about overturning oppression, putting power into the hands of the black community through economic development mm -hmm. and you know um, self-determination. And that's what um, you know this, these campaigns were about. And like I said, the main center focus was reparations. And that was the first time this country or the world has ever seen an electoral campaign based on reparations. We were the mm -hmm. first reparations candidates. Yep. And that's what made it so that's what made it so dynamic. And now, two years later, while two years ago reparations was a fringe type of politic and we were right. fringe candidates for even talking about it, we were crazy. Now, lo and behold, you have these candidates and the Democratic Party. Um, saying they support uh, reparations or what they think reparations even looks like. Mm -hmm, right. And um, um, I'm really honored to be here tonight um, with someone of your stature having changed history the way that yeah. you did in the elections of 2017. Um, I'm not even sure that you're full, I, I, your significance is, it's impossible to uh, overstate it. So um, I wanted to ask you, Director Akile, about the question of reparations mm -hmm. and its relationship to socialism, mm -hmm. apart from other Democratic Party candidates who claim to be in favor of socialism and reparations. Yeah, I really appreciate that question because the whole thing about the Democratic Party, and uh, which is just a face of the white ruling class, um, you know, pre you know, pretending to embrace the whole question of reparations. Um, while they're forced to deal with it based on the work that the party has done and all of the work we've done around reparations, what they're doing is attempting to redefine the movement for reparations and what reparations even means. Socialism, and this is where you know, the importance of you know, just ideology comes in because we have to understand how we got here in the first place because white people are just now experiencing and discovering this thing of oppression that has been happening to the black community and has created the basis for it to happen to white people. And so understanding that critical question that the center of it is Africans, that the oppression of the African community here and around the world is centered to this whole struggle and that we have to end oppression of African people in order for there to be true socialism, that mm -hmm. Africans have to have power, African workers have to achieve power in order for there to be genuine socialism. And white people have been stuck in this whole um, struggle of trying to achieve socialism at the expense of Africans, of, at the expense of African people. So to maintain capitalism and achieve socialism at the same time, which is absolutely impossible. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Reparations means an end to this capitalist colonialist system, the parasitic capitalist system that sucks the blood of Africans every single day. Mm -hmm.